Hey everyone, welcome back to a new Wizard101 video. We recently had the double pet XP again, and I was honestly really surprised to see that that was the next member benefit because I feel like we just had one. And if you remember, I did that video on my new fire pet, and I only made that pet because of the last double pet XP. And then we had one this weekend, which I was considering doing a pet and I'm like oh, maybe I should just wait because I don't really feel like going through that whole process of making another pet and I need the fire pet so I was happy about making that fire pet but I was influenced by other people that I saw in the discord and on twitter that were making pets and I'm like you know what I should probably take advantage of this Tara was even making a pet so I was like okay let's see what pet I actually need to make on my characters fire pet's done my fire, I feel like is pretty good with pets. Unless I wanted to make a triple double. I already have a triple double fire though. I don't know. I don't feel like I really need anything else in my fire for now. The uh, one I made last time is, is good. We're fine. That's also in the kiosk, by the way. Dr. Pepper is the uh, fire kookaburra that is in the kiosk. So I got that going. If people want to hatch with him. I already know of people that have hatched with him and got the pet back. So there you go. But what I wanted to do was look at my characters and see what pet I actually needed. My life is good. I've got all the healing pets I could want. Um, the only thing I don't have is a ward pet. Ward pets are something that I did have one of. I had uh, Kobe, which kind of a ward pet, kind of just a storm resist pet because he has that storm proof. But he has two wards. They're only 14%. I've never had a ward pet that had 15% before because I just never trained ward pets i just never went for a ward pet before so i worked on a new ward pet and i finished it it was a lot more difficult than you think because of what pet i wanted to put it on so it's on a completely different pet that i've never actually had before i mean i think i did a pet showcase on this pet but i never made it into an actual good pet so here we go let's look at my uh pets that we have right now uh healing pet everyone knows that uh Oh, Sasha, by the way, is my old healing pet, and I need to remove the jewel off of uh, her right now because I was using that jewel for something else, but the nice thing about it is you can just remove it and you're good, and then put it on whatever you want. You can even transfer this, like, between characters, which I'm going to end up doing, and uh, so right now, even though I'm not going to be using this pet and that jewel on my life, I can still socket it because the jewel is forever unless you delete the jewel you should always have it or you forget where you put it you should always have it so let's go ahead and grab the jewel I already have it and then uh where is the pet i don't i don't know what i named it oh here it is okay so this is the ward pet i put it on a party corgi because i really wanted this to be a full-on support pet let's go ahead and equip it i wanted this to be a full-on support pet and I was thinking what cards would actually be good for it. Usually feints are pretty good. And I was thinking about the enchanted armament because it gives the uh, the sharpened blade. And I was thinking about it more. And I'm like, I was telling Terry about it. I'm like, you know, should I just go for the enchanted armament? She's like, well, the party corgi also has a sharpened blade. And I'm like, well, I have a party corgi somewhere in one of my houses. So I went and found it, started hatching. It was a struggle. I don't know if I have the first gen party corgi anymore, but... It was actually pretty difficult. Let me show you the... Oh, here is the Dryad that I had the stats on. And I tra basically, I transferred the stats from this Dryad to the Party Corgi. Not easy. Not easy at all. It might seem easy, but it's not a copy-paste. It actually takes a lot of effort, a lot of crowns and gold and everything to be able to do this. And I just kept hatching with myself until I got it. So I started with Miss Otis over here, which was a Dryad. And to get this Ward Pet, by the way... I just got it from the kiosk. I looked and found some dryads that had basically these ward stats that I wanted and got it on my own dryad and uh, just kept hatching until I was able to get the party corgi. Also, the uh, dryad has a 21 hour hatching timer, so I had to use hatching elixirs in order to get this too. So, a lot of things went into this pet. Thinking back, it's kind of bad memories because I had a lot of fails to get to this party corgi. I basically went from a Dryad to a Party Corgi 
And when you do that, when you transfer stats between two pets, anytime that you get the pet that you don't want, so anytime I got the 21 hour hatch timer dryad, I would delete the pet because I don't want it on a dryad. That's a waste of time for me to train that. And uh, that would basically be a fail right off the bat. Um, if I can find the first gen, I can show you also some other struggles that I dealt with. But basically, if I can't find it, if I deleted it, I don't think I would have deleted it. But if I did, rip. <laughs> um, basically, he had Maycast, Mythspear, and some other talent. I forgot what it was. I did a pet showcase on it, so unless I delete, I don't know why I would have deleted him, but maybe I deleted my first gen. But if I did, whatever. He had Maycast, Mythspear, and some other talent. And I kept getting that Maycast, Mythspear many times before the pet actually started to work out for me. So pretty hard going from a first gen pet to this. But I'm proud of it. We did it. This isn't going to be the name. I need to come up with a name. Uh, I'm also going to equip the... Uh, that's the wrong button. I'm going to equip the Brace Jewel because, well, it's unshatterable, so no shatter. So we're just going to equip it because, I mean, why not? It shows the entire talents that it gets. So Spell Proof, Balance Ward, Ice Ward, Storm Ward, Fire Ward, Spell Defy, and Make House Brace. Those are the uh, seven talents using the new jewel which is pretty crazy to say but i made this pet just to be able to use this jewel so i wanted it to not have defy and then you can socket the defy with the make cast brace and this is the only make cast brace in the game there's no other make cast there's make cast fortify but not brace so that's why i feel like this is the best jewel right now is uh spell defy with brace and when I made my video about this jewel, I called it the ward pet jewel because that's what it is. People are going to use this on ward pets because ward pets usually have a make cast fortify anyway. This is make cast brace even better. I don't know what I'm going to name this guy, but let's just come up with something. See if we can find anything good. Uh, rename pet. Okay. I have no clue. I mean... What are we thinking? He's a party corgi, so he's kind of happy. He's he's kind of cute. He's got a little hat. You know, I'm thinking of just naming it something funny. Like Muffin or Waffles or something like that. I feel like Muffin could be actually kind of funny. Should I put a title in front of it, though? Like Mighty Muffin? I feel like that's pretty... I don't know. Mighty Muffin, is that actually good? Or should I just name it Muffin? Magnificent Muffin, that's too much. Oh, uh, I don't know. Is Mighty Muffin good? Is that what this pet's going to be called? Or just regular, just Muffin? Or I can name it just Muffin. <laughs> Though Mighty Muffin actually sounds pretty funny. I don't know. I don't care about this, uh, the name of this pet. I just want it to be kind of a funny pet. Mighty Muffin. I like it. So, I mean, because he looks like kind of, you know, a, a, a dog with a party hat. I mean, it's kind of funny just in general. So, Mighty Muffin is going to be the pet. Oh, I love that little effect. Like, every time you phase into a new area, it does that. The other thing that I wanted to talk about was what character I'm actually going to use this on. So, I wish I could have multiple of those jewels of the Brace Jewel because it's that good. But, it's okay. I'll have to find another jewel to use for my other ward pet. But, basically, this pet is going to go on my death and I will use this as my death's war pet when I level up higher basically when I get to the point of my death where I'm like okay I'm full on support I'm not gonna be hitting anymore I don't need baby Barney and uh, then I'll just go ahead and start using this pet it's gonna be pretty crazy because I've never had a pet like with these kind of stats with these kind of wars and and proof and even the make cast brace like that's actually really good uh, for my resist, it gives a total of, how much is that? Uh, 25, 30% resist for the ones that I have a ward for. So, pretty good. And then, uh, yeah, it's going to be a good pet for my death. And then the sharpen blade, I'll be able to use that to sharpen and give someone a pet blade. So, that also helps. They give you two cards, by the way. Two sharpens from this pet. And uh, it's going to be good. And then if I ever wanted to have a ward pet on my life, we've got Miss Otis. This is where I started from. 
And I can socket something. I don't know what I'm going to socket. I could socket another ward. I could socket... I don't know. Something. <laughs> I'll just have to come up with something. But maybe another ward. But I decided to go for the elemental wards and balance ward. Just because I feel like elemental is actually really good for PvE. I'm not really going for PvP uh, ward pet at all. Even though people would say balance is like a PvP ward. It's still good to have for PvE. Um, I feel like elementals are pretty decent. The only one that I could see people wanting besides balance for PvE is myth or death. I feel like those two are actually, uh, you find a lot of enemies that are myth or death. But if I wanted to do that, then I could just put up a myth or death ring on that character and get more resist for it. I don't want to, do I really need this energy? I don't know. I'm going to, I'm going to save it for now because I'm in my full energy gear, but I mean, yeah, that's basically the pet. We got a, oh, look how he jumps. He's so happy. See, I'm glad I named him Mighty Muffin because he's kind of like a goofy pet, you know? <laughs> His tongue like flops around too. So he might look cute and cuddly and innocent, but the stats do not lie. The stats are really good and uh, I'm proud of this pet. So this was what I came up with for the uh, recent double pet XP. The stats aren't like all the way like maxed out but it still gives you 15 percent ward which first time i ever had a pet that has 15 ward so i'm proud of that one but there you go i mean that's the new pet i'm not going to use it for a while on my death but we'll get there and then i'll transfer the jewel transfer the pet and we're gonna be set i didn't think i would be able to make a ward pet this fast but double pet xp has been popping up a lot i don't know why they keep doing double pet xp but i'm not complaining i was able to make two basically three good pets if you count my other ward pet from this from these recent two uh double pet xps so i guess it pays to be a member these days because i'm able to train a lot of pets because of it i only train pets during double pet xp now since there's been a lot and i feel like the next time we're going to get member benefits like double pet xp double garden is going to be in september so look forward to that it's if they do the same that they did last year, then we should be getting all the member benefits at once. I don't know if they're going to do that. I feel like they should because it's the 10 years, so we should get a lot of uh, cool things. And uh, yeah, play on that. If you want double garden, if you're a member, then make sure your garden is ready for September. Hopefully they also turn on all the member benefits at once like they did because I feel like people would really like that. So that's going to do it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you all trained up some good pets over the weekend as well. But if you missed it, there's going to be plenty more soon, especially in September. So look forward to that. But thanks again for watching. Leave a like for Mighty Muffin, the new pet. And I'll see you all next time.